This is Raider for On The Raider Entertainment Blog, coming to another edition of MLB Observation of the 2021 season, Week 26. So the Cardinals have been on this huge hot streak, but I still don't get why Paul Goldschmidt is batting second when he can drive 120 in his sleep, and that they put Dylan Carlson third sometime when he's out of the middle of the order hitter, and then Bader batted before Paul DeYoung, which makes no sense because DeYoung's a better hitter, and this Rondon dude, we know he's a utility player, but he's not an outfielder. And then you got the Cubs where... Contreras was leading off, and Schwindel's batting one and two. Those are middle of the order hitters. That's where they should be. I like when Ortega's leading off because he's a speedy guy. Ian Happ, not a number three or four hitter, nor is he a right field. It's a little bit of stretch for an infielder playing the outfield. Wisdom still playing left field and third base when he's not an outfielder. He's the first baseman by trade. And then in a blowout, Sergio Alcantara pitcher makes sense because he's a super utility guy. Rangers. Isaiah Garfield is not a leadoff hitter, nor a shortstop or number two hitter. And then they have Kobe Allard. Who's supposed to be a part of this rotation? If Jarrell Cotton and Mike Boltonevich, who also are starting pitchers, Boltonevich has been a part of this rotation, pitching out of bullpen. I was like, the Rangers don't have enough starting pitching, so why are you doing that? The Orioles. Mountcastle is a power hitter. He broke the Orioles franchise rookie record for home runs. Why is he batting second? Hayes lost his job before, so he's not a great hitter, so he have to be batting third. And I also don't want to see, at the same time, I don't want to see guys that are not good hitters like in the middle of the lineup like Mancini and Santander and Stewart, Mountcastle, those guys in the middle of the lineup. And then the Pirates, I don't want to see Kieber and Hayes leading off. I complain he was batting second, but this dude is not a leadoff hitter. He's not a speed guy. Yoshi Tsugo, he's not a number two. He's pretty much been all or nothing in the major leagues and he's not a right fielder. He's a corner infielder you throw in the outfield occasionally. Reynolds, there's no need for him to play center field, especially if Ben Gamble played center field once and you have Anthony Alford. You got real outfielders who can play center field. And then Tucker's not an outfielder. He's a shortstop, and there's nobody really playing second base that off, op, uh, often. Because Michael Chavis played it once this week, and he's not a second baseman. We've noticed he's a third baseman by trade. He's also not a leadoff fit. And then Chad Cool is one of the only starting pitchers that I know, so why is he pitching out of bullpen? Then the Philly. A dual rare jeans girl, one and two. That's perfect. That's how it should always be. This Verling dude is a natural born center fielder. Why is he playing first base? you got Brad Miller and Alec Bohm if you want to play somebody at first base, or even JT Romuto. Royal. And in 10, he's not a cleanup hitter. We've been over this. He's not a power hitter. He's not a leadoff hitter. He's like a contact hitter, maybe at a second or a bottom lineup. Mundus is now playing third base. I don't feel that there. He's a shortstop by trade. Let him play infield, middle infield. Dozier's not an outfielder. He's got enough outfielders. he got four or five guys. Like, to, what are you doing? And then Santana and Kyle Zimmer both pitching in a bullpen still in the world. So have enough starting pitching. It's stupid. Then the National. Juan Soto stopped playing right field. I saw a game where he made one okay play, but then he made a bunch of, eh, okay, he didn't do so well. He's not a right fielder. He's a great offensive talent, but he's not going to win a gold glove. Then the Tigers. Jonathan Scope, we've been over this. He's not a first baseman. He's a second baseman. Stop playing him at first base. If you're going to play somebody first base, Candelario first base, or even Robbie Grossman, because Robbie Grossman is a corner outfielder, but he's not a great outfielder, so no right field is kind of a stretch. He's on number three hitter. He's on number two hitter. That's not where he belongs. Then they have to wait time with Harold Castro, utility player. Paredes, utility player. Nico Goodrum, utility player. Zach Short. All playing shortstop or the infield, so then you got to throw Willie Castro in left field when he's not a left fielder. That makes no sense there. You already you already have a gluttony of outfielders, and Grossman's blocking some of them, so why block them with Willie Castro? Then Jose Urena was in the rotation this year, and Drew Hutchison, they're pitching out of bullpen with Michael Fulmer. That's, again, like three starting pitchers that you can use on a team that stinks, and you guys need innings as, like, a starter. And then, why is Willie Castro still playing left field and Eric Haas? You've got too many outfielders. Why are you taking away a batch for them? And Haas is not an outfielder. He's a catcher. And then Paredes, a utility player. Why is he batting third? That makes absolutely no sense. The Reds. The Schrock dude's not an outfielder. It's not playing him there. I don't care where you're batting in the lineup. It's not as big a deal as in playing him in the outfield. Kyle Farmer, we all see he's not a shortstop. And this Tyler Stevenson, who's a backup catcher, is not a number two hitter, nor is he middle of the order. This Barrero dude's a natural born shortstop. Why are you playing him in center field? You've got Delilah Shields called up. Like, you should use him. And then I do like Jonathan Indian leading off. White Sox. Moncada and Robert are not number two hitters. Robert, I've seen games where he drives in two or three runs. Imagine if he came up fifth, sixth, or, se- or seventh, he could drive in more runs. Moncada also has not been the world's best hitter this year, so he's not a number two hitter. And then Vaughn, it's good that he's been back in the lineup, but he's not a right fielder, man. Ray, Brandon Lau's not a leadoff hitter. He's a really good contact hitter, but it doesn't mean he's a leadoff guy. Kyle McHugh, I've seen him either been an opener or I've seen him pitch out of the bullpen. It's like, get, let the guy go four, five, six innings. He's a starting pitcher. G-Man Choi and Yandy Diaz, power-hitting middle-of-the-order hitters, not number two hitters. Because then I see Randy Rosarena bat three or four, or 
uh, you know, Wander Franco was in his first year as a rookie batting third or fourth. No, no, no. Then Luplo, who's an expert outfit, they're stopping him at first base when you got multiple guys who can play first base. And Wendell's on a shortstop, you got multiple guys who can do that. Marlins. I like the Jad Chisholm, Miguel Rojas, one and two, however you want to do that, that's good. But Brinson, we've been over, he's not a three through five hitter. He's been a, one of the worst hitters in baseball. And then Santa Leon, this week he, he kindled this tour of pitching, pitching and then playing third base. Like, it's not my fault that you have Jackson and Alfaro and you also called up another catcher and you have, like, so many you got, you got to play guys out of position. Don't do that. Then the Yankees. These are Mayo leading off all season. Said that's not his spot. Rizzo or Judge batting second, and their power hitters is, is not where they belong. Gardner playing center field is good, and in one game he batted, like, second. And I was like, okay, that makes kind of sense. Because, you know, he used to be the leadoff hitter. And then I know Tyler Way, the lead, uh, uh, utility player, but he's not a center fielder. And then Diesel May is now playing third base, which is not his position because he moved Torres and Urshela all around them and changed everything up. Red Sox. Kyle Schrober, Hunter Renfro, you got him for power, not to be number two hitter. Giants. Brandon Bell's not a number two hitter. Nor is Chris Bryant like, or Darren Ruff. They're power hitters. Mate Wade Jr. is not a three or four hitter. He's a kind of a leadoff speedy guy, and he did once. Bryant's not an outfielder. Darren Ruff's not an outfielder. But if you want to play them, you got to play them in the corner spots, not in center field for Bryant's sake. You know, not right field for rough, left field's okay. Slater will be over this. He's not a center fielder. He's a corner guy himself. He's also not a leadoff hitter. Monte Wade's a center fielder. Not a first baseman. Stop playing him there. I don't want to see Brandon Crawford bad in the middle lineup when he's a, not a great hitter. His whole career's been okay. And then Johnny Quinn pitching out of the bullpen is weird when he's been a starting pitcher. Rocky. Charlie Blackman is, if he's no longer a leadoff hitter, third is a good spot for him or fifth. He's not a cleanup hitter. And then Garrett Hampson's not a center fielder. They got enough outfielders. And also Ryan McMahon's a third baseman. They got enough second baseman. It's just seeing pitch out of the bullpen still. Yeah, I guess whatever. Jays. Why is George Springer leading off and playing center field? Both of those are not as strong suit. Bichette's not a cleanup hitter. Randall Grichik's not a center fielder. And wasting a DH by an Alejandro Kirk when you have so many things, it makes absolutely no sense. That's where I'm just like, what are you doing? That is, you know, a waste of time. Because Alejandro Kirk is a backup catcher, and you got Springer, and you got Gritchick, and you got yourself Pachette, you can DH, you got Hernandez, you can DH, you got Guriel, you got Corey Dickerson. It makes absolutely no sense that you're doing that. And again, we want to, Gritchick's not a center fielder, but it's better than the alternative of playing Corey Dickerson in center field, which they've been doing. Then the Twins, Byron Buxton, batting second. They keep moving around. He's never going to find the right spot. Ross leading off is pretty good, but he's a real number two hitter. Polanco's not a number two hitter because he... Strikes out a lot. And batting third is not he's not a 40 home run guy. Then he plays shortstop once, which is interesting. Nick Gordon's still playing the outfield when he's not an outfielder. And he's playing shortstop, which is cool to see. Then the Padres. Profar's not an outfielder. Tatis not an outfielder. Frazier's not an outfielder. And let alone Tatis playing center field. And then they used an opener when they have Dilson Lameda and Weathers, who have started games for them, just pitching out of the bullpen, which is stupid. Then Tommy Family Owners is not a leadoff hitter. Colonel Moore's not in the middle of the order hitter. No, it's Profar. And Cronenworth's not a first baseman. They got a couple of guys who can actually do that instead. That's where I'm like, what are you doing? And Cronenworth's not a middle of the order hitter, too. It's like Heman Profar, Frazier, these guys are not a middle of the order hitter. That's just they don't know how to come up with a the lineup. Then the Braves. Duval's not a center fielder to be over in it. Arcia's not an outfielder. Asbialbi, I liked when he was batting, you know, second, but they've been doing Jack Peterson and Swanson one and two, which is correct. But not so Larry Freeman. Those dudes hit 40 home runs in their sleep almost. They're like, they're not one and two hitters. And as in, Avi Alvey's not a cleanup hitter. And Drew Smiley's pitching out a bullpen when he's a starting pitcher. The mess, Lindor batting second is the only thing they've been doing wrong. He hasn't had a great year overall, but second would, is not really where he belong him. The, the Mariners. They got Mitch Hanniger out of the two spot, and now he's batting cleanup, which is great. But they put Ty France there, so it's like you're just moving guys out of thing there. J.P. Crawford's still leading off. That's good. Abraham Turrell still plays second baseman. He's not a second baseman. And they're wasting time with this Torrens 2 to DH when they got too many guys who can play first base. And they're not outfielders, or and they're not really great fielders. And then playing third base is stupid. And then Bowers instead is in the outfield when he's no business in the outfield as a first baseman. And Justice Sheffield pitching on the bullpen when the Mariners don't have that amazing of a pitching staff. Angel. Otani's on a leadoff hitter, number two hitter. There's nobody to support him. There's no Upton. There's no Rendon. There's no Trout. Why is he batting at the top of the lineup? Because then you got the likes of Phil Gosselin batting third or fourth when he's a utility player and he's on an outfielder. Then Rojas, the utility player, he's playing the outfield. Key Wong's an infielder, he's playing the outfield. Like, those are infielders in the outfield. Then you get the worst thing is Taylor Ward. He's a catcher by trade, who if you want to play in the outfield and left field, maybe. But center field's a stretch. You got this Marsh guy, just play him every day. 
And then Stasty is a backup catcher. He's not a cleanup hitter. Dodger. Trey Turner should not be batting third. He's a top of the order hitter. Okay, Gavin Lux. Not an outfielder by trade. So you play him in center field in a game, he just crashes into the wall. You're going to injure your guy. Matt Beatty's a first baseman. Stop playing in the outfield. Colby Bellinger's an outf the first baseman. Stop playing him in the outfield. If you're going to do it, don't do center field. And then I see Price Pitch on a bullpen. I'm guessing they got all five guys back. That's fine. Will Smith is a good enough offensive catcher, but he's not a cleanup hitter. Dimebacks. I know you want to get to Dalton Varshall's bat in the lineup, but he's not a center fielder and he's not a middle order hitter. He's an okay enough hitter. Pavin Smith, yeah, I know you want to get his bat in the lineup, but he's not an outfielder. He's a first baseman. I like that Cattell Mark plays, but a lot of second base because they've called up some guys from the minor leagues to play the outfield. So that's who should play in the outfield. Van Meter, again, stop wasting time with him. He's the utility guy. Play the young guy. Carson Kelly, Menorah, he's a good enough offensive catcher, but he's not a cleanup hitter. Astros, Altuve's not a leadoff hitter. He's a great number two hitter. And Alvarez is a bad outfielder, so play him at DH, not left field. Eight. You know, Starling Marte is not a number two hitter. He's a middle of the order hitter. Chad Pinder is a utility player, so he's definitely no business batting four. Chapman's supposed to be in the three through six part of the lineup, not number two. And Seth Brown, I'll see a game play center field. I'm like, cool, they actually played him there. Then he'll play first base. I'm like, ah, it makes no sense. If he's a center fielder, you should not be playing first base. And Mark Hanna, I hope no, he's not an outfielder, but playing him in right field is more of a stretch than him playing in left field. And then the Brewers, Gerardo Escobar is a good offensive player, but he's not a Miliora hitter. He's not a first baseman. They got like three first basemen. Owen Abaris is not a number two hitter. He's not a contact hitter. And there's Tyron Taylor is a good enough role player back of outfielder, but he's not a cleanup hitter. And then the Indian, Harry Ramirez is not a four or five hitter. He's a backup outfielder. Then Yu Chang is a utility infielder who's a shortstop by trade. Stop playing first base. Okay? Thanks for listening to another edition of MLB Observations. This was the 26th week of the MLB season, the 2020 season. This weekend is about to start like the final weekend before the playoffs. So there'll definitely be an observation video next week way before i usually do videos of just this past weekend and that will be up soon and then eventually you'll have like once for each playoff round thanks for listening i'm radar from the radar table i'll see you guys next time